Oh my god guys, I'm here with a new video and I just had to say that because this sweater is new and it's super soft and I just wanted to show it to you guys, so... Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing the coffee book tag. I was tagged by Guess It's Tess and she is a booktuber that I recently found out about and she's an awesome, amazing person and her videos are really great. So I will leave her channel in the description down below. I have my phone right here with me and I'm gonna look at the questions. So the first one is Black. Name a series that's tough to get into but has hardcore fans. So for this one, I'm gonna go with The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. There are a lot of people who love this series, but I've heard that the first book is kind of hard to get into, like it's not super thrilling as the other books, it's a little bit boring, but every book that you read after the first one is better and better. And the second question is Peppermint Mocha, name a book that gets more popular during the winter or a festive time of the year. And of course for this one I gotta go with Harry Potter during the winter. Everyone loves to read this series during the winter, it just has such a festive feeling to it. I know that it is not original to say this but I also don't have any other books that I can think of. So yeah, Harry Potter. The third question is hot chocolate. What is your favorite children's book? So when I was a kid, I of course didn't read any English books because I'm Dutch. But when I was a kid, and I believe that most of the Dutch teenagers from my age read this series as well, I read all the books in the Who Overleef Ik series by Francine Oma. So literally translated, how do I survive? Blah blah blah. So every time it was like, how do I survive love? How do I survive myself? How do I survive my parents? Or something like that. And it was a lot of fun and I believe that almost every Dutch girl has read this series. Question four, double shot of espresso. Name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. For this question, I do not have to think twice. For that one, I'm gonna go with Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas from start to finish. This book was amazing, especially for high fantasy. It usually takes me about like two to three weeks to finish a book, but I read this one in a week. So for me, this was quite fast. It was just so amazing and so action-packed and uh, Selena's character grows a lot and the other characters as well. There's always something happening. It's just such a good book. Even if you are doubting to continue on with the series, if you've read like Throne of Glass and you didn't like it as much as everyone else, this one will not disappoint you. It is so much better than the first book. Question five, Starbucks. Name a book you see everywhere. So for the past month, I have seen this book on every single book channel and of course I'm super interested in it right now because everyone loves it as well. And that book is Passenger by Alexander Bracken. Everyone has bought this book on like the release date and I still don't have it and I really want it. Um, yeah, so that's the book that I'm gonna go with. Question six, that hipster coffee shop. Give a book by an indie author a shout out and guys, I haven't read any indie author's books so um, I cannot give an indie author a shout out so I'm so sorry. Question seven, oops I accidentally got decaf. Name a book you were expecting more from. So for this one I'm gonna show you guys three books that I expected a lot more from than I actually got. So first off I'm just gonna quickly mention this book because I've been talking about this book a lot in the last month and that is Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I just, nope. Nope, I just didn't like it and I'm not gonna continue on with this series. Then I have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I did enjoy this book, but I was just expecting this to be like The Walking Dead but with aliens and I love The Walking Dead. It's my all-time favorite TV show and yeah, it just wasn't The Walking Dead with aliens. It was a little different. I'm also not super sure if I'm gonna continue on with this series because I've heard not a lot of great things about The Infinite Sea, but we'll see. We'll see guys. And then I have a book that everyone loves and I was expecting to love this one as well. I enjoyed it, didn't love it, and that one is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. It took me like one month to read this book. I did really enjoy it, but I just didn't love it and that was just such a shame. I will continue on with this series. I am excited to see where this one goes. Then the perfect blend, name a book or series that was both bitter and sweet, but ultimately satisfying. So for this one, I have to go again with Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. I'm so sorry that I have to name the same book again, but it was just so good and so bittersweet and so satisfying. But I also do want to show you guys another book that was bittersweet but ultimately satisfying and that was Legend by Marie Lu. This was an amazing dystopian book with a lot of action but I still am so mad about one death that happened in this book. So those were all the questions and I will leave the people who I tag in the description down below as well. If you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!